press scrum at the royal courts to witness one royal's crusade against the press. Harry believes he can prove the tabloids were liars and lawbreakers. But according to his biography, Spare, Harry's father described his son's lawsuit as a suicide mission. Now we would see. We've used an actor's voice for Harry's witness statement. The tabloids would constantly try and, and coax me, a damaged young man, into doing something stupid that would make a, a good story and sell lots of newspapers. Looking back on it now, uh, such behaviour on their part is utterly vile. In his cross-examination, the Mirror's lawyer began by arguing that Prince Harry hadn't read many of the articles at the time, so couldn't have been distressed by them, citing ones written when he was a boy. There are no cameras and no recordings in court, but this is what the Duke said in response, performed by an actor. Now, these articles were incredibly invasive, and each time one of these articles were written, it had an effect on my life, the people around me, my mother, in this case, her reaction to me as her son. Prince Harry often referred to invoices and payments to private investigators in his statement saying there were eight in relation to his mother. It was suggested in court that Princess Diana's phone was hacked when the Daily Mirror was edited by Piers Morgan, who in recent years has been a vocal critic of Harry and Meghan. Reference to this was also in Prince Harry's statement. The thought of Piers Morgan and his band of journalists earwigging into my mother's private and, and sensitive messages in the same way as they have me. And then having given her a nightmare time three months prior to her death in Paris, it makes me feel physically sick. Hello. What do you think of Harry's accusations? This was Piers Morgan's reaction. Uh, he said your behaviour was vile and unjustified. What do you think? I didn't see it. But I wish him luck with his privacy campaign. Look forward to reading it in his next book. He also claimed private investigators were paid for information that led to these articles about his relationship with Chelsea Davy, and the intrusion ultimately caused them to break up. Specifically asked what information was obtained from hacking for this report about a trip to Mozambique, Harry said this. Uh, the paragraph that says, Harry will fly back to Britain on December 19th. That not only is that uh, a security issue, I can't begin to imagine how they would find that information out without blagging. It was possibly his best moment. The paper's lawyer tried to counter that while articles were sometimes intrusive and embarrassing, the prints lacked evidence they were obtained illegally. Harry often made the point that the journalists who wrote the articles should be quizzed about their methods. Many are not coming forward to give evidence. Jason Farrell, Sky News.